So retinal dystrophies together are an entity where the retina degenerates secondary to mutations in genes. Uh, taken them individually, they are very rare. Taken them together, they are one of the most prevalent causes of blindness. And we look at the prevalence of blindness in Germany as an example. In the age group of 20 to 60 years, the group of retinal dystrophies together are the most prevalent cause of blindness in this age group. We have to um, acknowledge that um, retinal dystrophies to date are almost untreatable. Uh, there are very few exceptions. One is a very prominent exception, that is uh, retinal dystrophy, uh, retinal dystrophies that are related to mutations in RPE65. There, uh, there's a new gene therapy that was developed in the United States by a company called Sparks Therapeutics, and uh, that was brought to the market and FDA approved end of 2017. And this was then further uh, out licensed to Novartis in all markets outside the United States and uh, was then approved by the EMA in uh, 2018 and is about to be marketed in Europe and will be marketed also in Switzerland. So retinal dystrophies are complex. There are more than 270 genes that, if mutated, are responsible for retinal dystrophies. Um, so the genetic diagnosis is typically done in the lab, but clinically what we do with these patients is they undergo a relative comprehensive examination, uh, including uh, visual fields, including uh, visual acuity, including uh, slit lamp exam, and so forth. But the most important ones are electroretinography, uh, and that can only be done by a couple of large centers, uh, and more comprehensive imaging, including fundus autofluorescence imaging. Taking all of them together, we typically arrive at a diagnosis where only a handful of genes would be responsible, but the final diagnosis then is made by genetic diagnosis. The fact that Luxtona made it, and that's the name of this new product, made it to the market, shows us that gene therapy, or to be more precise, gene augmentation therapy is possible. And I think now there is a whole um, development in the field that more gene therapies are about to be developed. Um, I have very high hopes that uh, in the near future we will have many new gene therapies for uh, quite a few uh, individual retinal dystrophies. But there are also small molecules that are about to be developed. One example uh, is for Stargardt disease, where I'm uh, the coordinator of the most advanced clinical trial in phase two already for Stargardt disease. And there's also stem cell therapy or cell therapy in development, again, for late dry AMD, but also for retinal dystrophies. There's one clinical trial in the United States um, by the company ReNeuron, which is a British company uh, at Harvard University, where stem cells are being used to regrow photoreceptors in patients that are almost blind from retinitis pigmentosa. And the first results actually look very good.